Yo, what's good, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video, man. And today's video is on the two way three point playmaker. Yes, that's the actual build name two way three point playmaker. This is probably one of the best lockdown builds I ever played on. I've been using it on stream. My Twitch link is in the description. Bro, I've been in the stage with this build, the six foot lockdown build. I keep up with the guards because they're 510. I have a 97 speed at 94 overall. And another good thing about this build, this build can dribble, bro. I can really dribble on this build to get all the dribble moves that you need. This lockdown build is devious. I've been using this build as a lockdown in the stage, but I also can handle the rock when I need to. Before we get into the build, can we get 80 likes on this video? 80 likes. I know you guys can do it, man. I know you guys can get 80 likes on this video. And also hit the subscribe button. We're at 3,098 subscribers at the time of this recording. Basically 3.1K. If we could hit 4K before 2K22, I'll be so happy, bro. I'll be so happy. And I would really appreciate it if you guys could hit that subscribe button. Also, leave a comment down below. It helps the video do better. It helps the video reach to other people that probably want to make this build as well. So definitely comment down below. Now, let's get into the build. So the first thing you guys want to do is use the metric system. You want to use the metric system so the stats can be better. And so we can be six foot and a half. Again, I know you guys are worried about the six foot. Like, how can I play lockdown on six foot? These guards cannot cook you, man. You guys are, have the same speed as them. You guys catch up to them and they do not have mismatch expert on you. They can't mismatch expert you. So these 510 guards that have been making all these shots in your face, they won't be able to do it once you make this build. So how do you get the metric system? You go to features, you go to settings. You want to scroll down until you see units of measurement. That one, you guys want to put metric system. It should be on Imperial for you, but you guys want to switch it to metric. So don't keep it like this, put it like this, metric system. Once you guys did that, you guys are ready to make the build. Now let's go to the My Player Builder. All right, so once you guys are in the My Player Builder, what you guys want to do is make your position a point guard. You guys can go shooting guard if you guys want rim protector, but rim protector on a six foot doesn't really make sense. Again, you just want to play your guard. If you guys are a stage player, you guys know you guys stay on the guard all the time. And usually when you play threes and you're on ball, you want to stay on the guard. You don't really want to switch. Handed left or right is not really an advantage to either. I go left because I'm used to it. Go with the one you are used to. Jersey number, you guys can pick whatever. I'm going to go with 35. All right, the pie chart you guys want to pick. The pie chart you guys want to pick is the half red, half green pie chart. You do not want to use the other pie charts. I'm pretty sure you can use the more green than red pie chart, but we don't get Hall of Fame defensive with that. We want to have Hall of Fame defensive and Hall of Fame shooting. The reason why we want to go half red, half green is because we're at lockdown. We want to play the best defense we can, so we want that Hall of Fame defensive. And we want to handle the rock when we need to, you know what I'm saying? So let's pick the half red, half green. You want to scroll down. It should be right here. Right here is the half red, half green pie chart. Once you guys see a 92 steal, an 85 lateral, a 77 balling handle, an 88 free throw, you know you have the right pie chart. The physical profile. The physical profile you guys want to pick is the speed profile. The reason you guys want to pick the speed profile is because you guys will be on the 510 guards. These point guards you guys are playing defense on are just getting shorter and shorter and faster and faster. So we want to go speed profile so we can get that 99 speed on this build. And I can't lie, when I was playing on this build, I had a 97 speed at 93 overall. That's because Cully had Gym Rat, but bro, this build is super, super fast at a low overall. So we definitely, definitely want to go with the speed profile. All right, so when you're upgrading this player, make sure you guys do everything that I'm about to show you here. So you guys can get that two-way three-point playmaker name. Yes, that's the actual build name. So if you guys want that build name, upgrade it exactly the way I'm about to show you. So for finishing, what we want to do, we want to make the close shot at 81. We do want the street finishing badges, so we do have to upgrade close shot, make it an 81. Driving layup, we want to max it out. And driving dunk, you want to max it out. And we get three finishing badges. And the thing about this build is you do get the quick drops off one. And you guys know quick drops off one is unblockable. So quick drops off one with that gold limitless takeoff, easy dunks. Easy dunks on this build. Like this build could really finish for real. So you definitely want to upgrade the finishing. So for shooting, what you guys want to do, make sure your mid-range is a 76. You do not want to go above a 76, then you won't get the name. You have to have a 76 mid-range. Now for the three-pointer, you guys can max that out. Max out your three-point. You guys got to have a high three-point on this build. It's going to be so hard to miss on this build, man. Especially because you guys got Hall of Fame shooting as well. It's going to be too easy to shoot on this build. Free throw, you want to max it out. And the post fade, you want to make it a 63. You don't want to go above a 63 post fade. And boom, you'll have 17 shooting badges. And again, you guys do get this category Hall of Fame, which is even more OP. Now we can go to playmaking. So for playmaking, what you guys want to do, you guys want to max out everything. Max out your pass accuracy, max out your ball handle, and max out your post control. You'll have 13 playmaking badges. This is a good amount of playmaking badges because this category will be gold. So you guys will get all of the playmaking badges you need. And like I said earlier, this build could really dribble. It gets all the dribble moves because it gets an 80 ball handle once you guys make it six foot. Man, 
I'm telling you, I can really dribble on this build when my guard is getting clamped. I can really do everything. I can Trey Young. I can misdirection. I can really fry these lockdowns and guards on this build. So if you guys want to use this as a point guard, as an ISO point guard build, definitely, definitely do it. Because this build is really OP. When you play defense, you're going to play defense like a perimeter lockdown. I'm telling you, this build is different. Shout out to my boy Cully. So once you guys max out everything in playmaking, you can go to defense. For defense, what you guys want to do is max out your perimeter, max out your lateral, max out your steal. And you want to put the rest on defensive rebound. So you guys can get 16 defensive badges. If you guys feel like you guys don't need finishing, that's perfectly fine. You guys can get more defensive badges. What you guys want to do is take out your close shot and take out one up layup and put it into defensive. And you should get 20 defensive badges. Put it right there. And boom, with a 70 defensive rebound, a 55 block, 92 steal, 85 lateral, 85 perimeter defense. You guys get 20 defensive badges. So for my on-ball locks, I really would recommend to go this way. If you guys want more point guard, you guys can go with the other way, which is three finishing, 17 shooting, 13 playmaking, and 16 defensive. But for my on-ball locks, you guys might want to go with this way because it's more defensive badges. All right, body shape. You guys can pick whatever you guys want. You guys can go burly, built, compact, defined. You guys can do whatever. I'm going to just go solid. And a little tip, if you guys do have a mascot, that's even better. It tricks the guard. The guard thinks you're a little bit taller. You might think you're 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 but you're actually 6 foot. So if you have a mascot, you visually look taller not you're not gonna really get more contest or anything but you visually look taller which will trick the guard a little tip right there and don't really like using mascots you guys will be just fine without one all right so for the height what you guys want to do is make it 1.85 1.85 should be six foot that'll allow you to get that 80 ball handle your steel goes up which is really good because you guys are gonna have a 98 steel at 99 <laughs> a 98 steel at 99 is really insane and of course your player gets faster you get a 92 speed and 90 acceleration and if you guys get gym rat, you guys will be at 99 speed before you even hit 99. All right, so for the weight, what we want to do is put it all the way down, all the way down so we can be even quicker. And look what you guys have. You guys have a 94 speed, a 92 acceleration. Like these guards cannot bop you. These guards cannot speed past you with this build, man. You'll be right in front of them, right in front of them all the time. You'll keep up with them. So you definitely want to go with 71 kilograms. For the wingspan, what you guys want to do I know this might trick you guys out. You guys might think we go max wingspan because we're locked down. You guys want to go minimum wingspan. So we can get that build named two-way three-point playmaker. We will have to put the wingspan all the way down. And that's a pretty good name. I like the name two-way three-point playmaker because that's really what you are. You're a three-point shooter, you're a defensive player, and you're a playmaker. But if you guys want to max out the wingspan, you guys might not get the name. But if you guys want to do that, you guys can. But I would really recommend you guys to go with minimum wingspan. I swear to you, you still can test the guards just as good. You'll be just as good at a defender as a 6'5". I'm telling you guys, that speed will make up for everything. You'll contest everybody and you'll be fine with a minimum wingspan. Now the takeover, you guys still are able to get locked down takeover. Even with a minimum wingspan, even short, you guys will be able to get locked down takeover. You guys are able to get sharp takeover. If you guys are playing point guard on this build, definitely go sharp take. Playmaking takeover is also a good takeover because when you guys pass it to your teammates, it'll make it easier for them to green. Also, if you guys want to go for clips and get some ankle breakers, definitely pick playmaking takeover. And it will make your point guard a little bit faster. You guys will already have a 99 speed at 99, but it will make your speed with ball faster. You'll probably dribble like a 510 or something with playmaking take. But if you guys are playing lockdown like I do, I go with lock takeover so we can clamp up the guards, so we can get those steals. Lateral no quickness goes up, everything goes up. So so definitely go lockdown takeover if you're planning on guarding ball all the time. And boom, you have a two-way three-point playmaker. I told you guys, you guys actually get that building. I rarely see this name in the park. I think the only person I've seen with it is Cully. So shout out to my boy Cully. He's the one that allowed me to play on this build. And I was frying kids in the state. I was clamping up everybody. And you guys know I show you guys the best badges for this build. So let's get into that. All right, for the badges, what you guys want to do, I'm going to show this way and I'm going to show the 20 badge way as well. So stay tuned. So if you went with the one with finishing, what you want to use for the finishing badges is put those quick drops off one, put that clean Thompson, and you should get a lot of dunks. And those two dunk packages right there, you will never get blocked with those dunks, especially with limitless takeoff, man. They rarely, rarely get blocked. So you definitely want to put clean Thompson and quick drops off one and put limitless takeoff on gold. If you guys are playing guard on this build, this is what you guys want to use. You guys want to use Hot Zone Hunter Hall of Fame, Sniper Hall of Fame, Stop It Pop Hall of Fame, Mismatch Expert Hall of Fame, and Lucky 7 Bronze. Or you could use Mismatch Expert Silver and use some Green Machine. Or if you guys don't want to use Green Machine, you guys can put Silver Blinders. This is what you guys want to do if you're running guard on this build. All right, for spot ups, this is what you guys want to do. You guys want to use Catch and Shoe Hall of Fame, Corner Specialist Hall of Fame, 
Hazard Hunter Hall of Fame, Sniper Hall of Fame, and Blinders Bronze. The reason why we're using Blinders on Bronze because if they come in close out on us and try to get a contest while they're off to the side, because you know people like baiting the corner. You can make the shots consistently when you have blinders. But if you guys feel like you guys don't need blinders, you guys can use Lucky 7 Bronze, Green Machine Bronze, even Dead Eye Bronze if you guys want to. But what I would recommend is to use blinders bronze because it really, really helps. Playmaking, what you guys want to use is Bullet Passer Silver. Because Bullet Passer is very, very essential. You don't want to throw a slow pass. That's how a lot of turnovers happen. A lot of people don't have Bullet Passer on. So you guys want to use Bullet Passer Silver, Handle for Days Gold, Quick First Step Gold, Quick Chain Gold, Unpluckable Silver. Like I said earlier, you get all the essential badges for playmaking. You get all the playmaking badges that you need on this build. And last but not least, we got defensive. If you guys went with 16 defensive, this is what you guys want to use. And if you guys went with 20 defensive, I'm going to show you right after this what you guys should use. So what you guys want to use is Clamps Hall of Fame, Menace Silver, Intimidator Hall of Fame, Interceptor Silver, and Pick Dodger Hall of Fame. Or you guys can do this. You guys can take out Interceptor and put it all on Menace because Menace gets you more bumps. If you guys feel like you guys can already get lanes without Interceptor, then go ahead and take out Interceptor and use Menace on Hall of Fame. Now, if you guys went with the 20 defensive badges, this is what you guys want to use. You guys want to use Clamps Hall of Fame. Menace Hall of Fame, Intimidator Hall of Fame, Pig Dodger Hall of Fame, Silver Interceptor, and Silver Chase Down. 